Hello everybody. It's just a little something that I want to share with you guys. Uh, pretty excited actually to show you all of this. Because yeah, it's something that I've never seen before and it's something that I've created so yeah, I mean I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen any videos of this before on YouTube, so I'm not sure if I'm the first one to design something like this or not, or whether someone else has, but you know, this is all my work, just thinking it out, how to do it, and so yeah, basically this is all my design. Uh, anyway, so basically I just want to quickly explain something to you before I show you. Um, this here is an XOR gate, or a ZOR gate, however you pronounce it, okay? This is just a horizontally built, you know, just built on the ground. This one's built up in the air. So, yeah, see, I've added a couple extra blocks there to support this redstone, but it's the same thing. Um, and basically the way this works is if both inputs are off, the outputs are off, if one input is off, or sorry, if one input is on, the output is on, and if both inputs are on, the output is off. So that's what XOR gate does, that's how it works. And in case none of you knew, calculators or adders use XOR gates. A half adder uses one, and a XOR gate, or an XOR gate. Uh, and a full adder uses two, okay? So a full adder uses two ZOR gates and a couple other little things in there, uses an AND gate and whatnot. And, yeah. So basically, this here is that there. So, what I've done is basically I've built a ZOR gate vertically and it consumes only one block width of space and it works completely how it's meant to so both output uh, both inputs are off the output is off one input is on the output is on uh, both inputs are on and the output is off and vice versa we turn it around and so yeah, it's it's a working vertical XOR gate. It consumes quite a bit of height, uh, but honestly, this is pretty much the most compact I could get it. It's as compact as I could possibly see, you know, to get it. Hmm. Psh, to be honest with you, I reckon we could shorten that. So maybe it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So what did I do now? This here. I don't know. Did I even change that? I never even changed anything. It's exactly the same. What the hell? Alright, so yeah. That's about as compact as you can get it and yeah so it works all right and basically what i've done is i've built a full adder a full adder and i've built it vertically just like i have with this uh with this zor gate so obviously because of other components inside of an adder the adder consumes three blocks width, okay? Including the carrion, okay? Including the carrion, the adder consumes only three blocks width. It uses uh, two ZOR gates, it uses two AND gates, and one OR gate, okay? So basically this is it. At the moment it's pretty sketchy. It's, um, yeah, it, it's pretty sketchy, like, it uses quite an amount of space, it uses quite an amount of height, and quite an amount of length, 
Although, with a bit of tweaking, I could shorten it, I reckon, I could possibly shorten this by about four blocks. So, that would save four blocks length, and maybe uh, height, uh, I really don't think I can lower it, that's about, a sh yeah, that's, it's pretty high, and I really don't think you'd be able to get it any lower than that. But yeah, so basically, this is it. Um, yeah, so that's three blocks width per adder. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. And it legitimately works. See, this, this here would be the next carry out, so... Yeah, that would come off down there. I'm not gonna do that right now though. This is basically the carry out or the carry in to the next adder. If you've got a four bit adder like this is here, this is a four bit adder. Um, or five bit including the carry out of the final adder. So yeah, I'll just give you a quick show and prove to you that legitimately works. Like uh like yeah like a conventional full adder so this is this is a standard full adder obviously this is very very compact but if you're looking to save space in width because you want to keep all your stuff really nice and tucked up close together then this is the way to go this is only three blocks wide including the carry this is six blocks wide including the carry okay but anyways, let's go ahead. This is number one, by the way. I'm going to call this number one. Bit one. Uh, bit two. Or binary two. Binary number four. And binary eight. So, with this, since we have the carry out, we have maximum output of number nine. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I'm a bit retarded. What is it? That's like 15 or something. I don't know, whatever, who cares, alright, no, it's like 9, yeah, it's 9, I don't know, anyways, so, now let's have a look at the end, number 1 should be on, alright, and I've left one on somewhere, so number 1 should be on, and it is, Now if we turn the other one on, input, or the second input, it should be 2, which it is. So it's added both the inputs 1 and 1 together, and now we're getting an answer of 2. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that one off, and now I should be able to do this here. Oh, we'll just go 2 plus 1 should equal 3, and true story it equals 3. Just quickly go back and click another lever. Let's go. Let's do three plus two. Three plus two equals five. So one and two is three, and then two equals five. And there you have it. Four plus one on binary equals number five. So it legitimately works. Let's quickly do one more here. Uh, let's do. We'll do. Oh god, I don't know. What what should I do? Completely random number. What's that? One, two and four. So that's seven plus three. We're not even gonna get an answer, are we? No, yeah, we should. Seven plus three. No carry. It's ten. So yeah. Uh eight plus two equals ten. So yeah, that works. Let's add um we're going to carry, let's try and get number 9 happening, eh? So, how can I get a carry? The only way I can get a carry is if I, if I add both of these together, which would equal 16. So, 8 plus 8 equals 16. And there you have it. There's a carry. 
and um, yeah just there's the carry there's no outputs here so this is binary 16 so it's number 16 so it's it, it works legitimately I mean it's it's not a it's not a joke it's not some bullshit I'm not using any mods this is vanilla mate this is vanilla minecraft right here and I have built a vertical adder which consumes only a maximum of three blocks width so although it's very tall and very long like I said I should be able to with a bit of tweaking I should be able to shorten it by maybe four blocks saving a bit of length but you know like it, it works you know you put your first input in you put your second input in and you get the correct answer at the output so and that's what it that's what an adder is designed to do so yeah that's it um, if anyone wants to use this design feel free go ahead I don't mind if you use the design uh, just don't go telling all your buddies that hey look what I built look what I made man this you know I'm pretty good I, I made this design yeah, don't, don't do that that's just it's just a bit sad if you do something like that but yeah also if you want like a if you want a tutorial on how to build one I'll give you a tutorial because yeah this it's pretty sophisticated it really like to be honest with you I couldn't build one off the top of my head right now because I've literally just slapped this together made it work and now I've made a video because I'm so excited that I managed to build a vertical adder um, but yeah um, if you want a tutorial I guess I can make one for you for you to watch and for you to build it uh, any other questions or comments or anything just leave them down the bottom there eh? Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Just uh, another quick thing that I want to add is, um, uh, yeah, how I did it. To be honest with you, before today, I had no idea what was inside of a, a calculator module. All I knew was how to build one of these ones here. Um, yeah, just slap all the blocks and torches together and away she goes, it works. But um, thanks to not thanks to this here, to be honest with you, this um, this little diagram here, produced by Paul Ramtube, his account name is Paul Ramtube. I'll put him in the description. Um, basically, I just jumped all the way to the end of his video and spent about one hour looking at this picture and yeah it, it tells you exactly how the calculator is wired up it tells you exactly how the Zool gates and AND gates are wired up and where the carry out and everything is so thanks to Paul Ramtube I managed to build the vertical adder so thanks to him and yeah sure there's other videos on here but I found this one I just, I just found this one more comfortable and easy to read so yeah alright well that's it then eh thanks for watching guys rate subscribe all the things you do thank you